everybody, welcome back. I've got uh, three journals that I've finally completed. Um, been in the works for a while, but you know, with everything going on, it kind of just taken me a little bit longer than than I expected. So, I've named these lavender fields. This is using the Prima Lavender collection, and they're very similar. The only difference is um, the cover page. I, you know, are different, but everything within the journal, um, the elements are the same. So I'm just going to take one and do a quick flip through, and you can see that because I'll have these three available uh, in my shop. So let's just start with this one. And this is a one signature TN size, as you can see, and then the, la the um, closure is with the Sari Silk. I've got old vintage doilies on these, and then I've come back over and made the um, the closure where I've layered with laces and, and various papers, and then I've also added these gorgeous vintage buttons, and I'll give you a close-up so you can see. I love the way those have come out. I didn't feel that it needed anything else because I didn't want to take away from the um, doilies. So you can see I've got the large eyelets um, for the closure with the sari silk. And so going inside, um, florals, a lot of vintage um, ephemera that is genuine that I've included. Um, so, you know, that's really the theme with it. Um, I absolutely love this paper pad, and I've, I've still got quite a bit of it left, so I'm, you know, working with it and trying to use it. Now, this trim was gifted to me. Um, through some happy mail and it just went beautifully with this and then here you know I've just picked up these little um, it looks to me like they would have been like a, a souvenir probably I don't know I'm guessing probably 50 maybe I don't know maybe older than that um, I've got quite a few packs of those and they're just various locations this is somewhere in France I won't attempt to try to pronounce it because, you know, I'm dreadful with pronunciation. So, that's tucked in there. Um, I've done a lot of sewing in this with white and black threads. And then this is a genuine... Uh, let's see. These are tea cards. Tea and coffee cards. And they're Canadian. I don't know how. I picked these up at the... Um, flea market sometime back I got a nice stack of those um, and they're all the florals which is really nice because I don't like some of the other tea cards that you can get. Decoupaged um, tags, embossed the little pockets and then added more lace here. Okay this is a find I've just recently purchased this um, beautiful 1906 ledger and uh, look at that baby. Woo, it's beautiful. So I've got some plain sheets, which are nice to work with. And then I've got some of these. The only thing I wasn't mad on is it had this line going through them. But the gentleman's informed me that that was a practice that was done um, with accounts. So... I love this. I'm just absolutely crazy about these. The, um, so I've included some of those in here as well. So this is a genuine page from that ledger. We've done some stitching there. Left the strings. They could always be cut off if you're not a fan of that. This is the um, Tim, uh, yeah, Tim Holtz or Sizzix die and I've back that so that um, that stands out. I love I love working with that die. It's very fiddly though I will admit to that. And another little um, this is the wildflower die where you cut it out and then you just put that back in with a contrasting color to make a little tag there. Uh, Beautiful papers that coordinate nice with this. Um, I've got avocado dyed papers in here and also tea and coffee dyed. I've altered um, 
some of the jumbo playing cards. I've stenciled through this. I've added some gesso. And then I've done some decoupage and stamping throughout. And this is another um, avocado dive page. French book page. More stitching. See how this, this is that tea and it's come out really, really nice and dark. I worked with some coffee dye last week and it, I, I'm not mad on it, so I think I'm going to stick with the um, the tea dye. It, I just prefer it. Okay, here I took some of my mica powders, and I've sprayed the doily, and it, it does change the texture of those. It makes them, I think, a little bit sturdier, so that's, that's nice. Some of the shipping paper, I've just added that in for contrast. This is an old vintage mathematics book. Another old book page there. I've done some stenciling. And then this is the coffee dye I was talking about. It's very grungy, and you know I kind of steer away from the grunge. So vintage um, postcards, another little handmade tag, <clears throat> and then another tag here with a snippet. Those are all tucked in there. I've done some with a punch, and then I've stitched that pocket so you can see. Over here I've created another pocket. Um, this is a Tracy Love Junk Journals Digital from her Ephemera Packs. I cannot recommend this pack. Um, you know, it, it's it's just, you, it's a, it's got everything you know, you can use it for so many different themes is what I'm trying to say. Um, I, I just love it. The ephemera packs are my favorite on digitals because there's so many uses for those. Another old um, ledger that I've printed out. And then I backed it with um, some other old papers. Um... Graphic Fairy, I think, is where I got that from. Dut, uh, German book page. Another old um, receipt, and I've, that was um, gifted to me. And then I've just printed that out and put that in there as well. Decoupaged on these, um, they're like a glassine backed. Um, bag, but then the front is clear. I um, ordered those over here because it, you cannot get uh, glassine bags in the UK easily, and if you do, they're very expensive. So I wanted to decoupage on that. And then in, inside, again, this is vintage um, little uh, photo car, you know, photo. <laughs> I don't know. I cannot speak today, guys. I'm so sorry. I don't know what's wrong with me. And I've had plenty of coffee, so there's just no excuse. Um, another little journal card that I made. And then I've just added some more of the book page and various digitals. Because I tried to keep this, you know, all the lavenders and purples. And... Let's see if I can get it back in. So you can see, that's that's the kind of bags I'm talking about. I think they're probably for like cookies and things like that, but um, when I bought them, I didn't really realize that's what they were going to be like, but I, I had bought like 500 of them, so I couldn't, um, I couldn't not use them. And this is the center of the signature. I've just added a couple of little cutout butterflies. Some more decoupage there. And this is the other side of the little bag so again there's another journal card that's tucked in there and I did um, you have got room you can do some writing on the back of that another old vintage um, souvenir card I guess is what you would call those decoupaged here and this flips over so there's still a lot of room to write in. I've collaged here um, with some book page and then this is an image from Porch Prince. 
and music sheet on this side. So it's not a tuck spot. This is just a um, page embellishment. More stenciling. Book page pocket here. And then I've just made some little tags to go in. Using up the stash. Trying to get through it. Um, here, again, there's that coffee page. I mean, it is beautiful, but it's just uh, in contrast to the tea, it was it was quite a bit different. Because it's been a while since I've done any co coffee dyeing. And then you remember I did a tutorial on how to make these. So this has been stamped on. I had some of those left over. Now this um, was an idea that came in my friendship uh, journal with the tiny little booklet. I love that. So I just had to pinch that idea. And then that's a decoupaged um, tag there. I love how that's come out. Glassine bag here. And again, I've layered up bits of digital and old book pages and some of the receipts as well. And then here I've done another little handmade um, tag and I've backed that with tea dyed. So I love how that looks there. And then here is a postcard, and I've just made another little pocket there with a tag and added some little ruffle, fabric ruffle there. Here's one of my fabric paper clips. I've added that in there. And then more stamping. I've added the glimmer mist to that. More of the stitching up here. It's a lot of fun to make these, um, you know, much smaller journal than I'm, I've been doing, and I, I always enjoy it when I can go back to the smaller projects. I love that tag. Those napkins are just beautiful. I'm going to have to start doing a search for some purple napkins, I think. Again, this is a porch, my porch print, um, part of one of her lavender kits. That's a little pocket there I had forgot. Let me just grab it. So there's a pocket there, I just hadn't put anything in it. Um, here, those Target envel seed envelopes. And then inside, I've made some little journal cards using the Tim Holtz paper dolls. And then that got some fabric here and some old buttons there. I mean those um, images were the larger ones and I didn't realize I should have that they weren't going to show through the way I wanted but I'm still included it. They could be swapped out if if you didn't like it there, but some stamping on that. And again, it's more of that old ledger. And here I've just sewn a little tuck spot so something could be added there as well, and that folds up. And then that's the back of the journal. So there it is. And as I said, these are um, lavender fields, and there's going to be three of these. Um, and they're all very similar. It's just a few little elements are slightly different. Um, but inside, I've, I've made them all, you know, the same. Got the same pages, same elements. The only thing that's different was the um, seed packet, the um, Tim Holtz paper dolls that I used, and those are different. But I hope you guys have enjoyed that. I hope you're all staying safe and um finding lots of things to keep yourself occupied with. Um, there's, there's a lot we can do, you know. So let's just stay focused and keep smiling, guys, and I'll be back very soon. Bye!